Hey, if you're looking to get in shape and want to look your sexiest, here are five mental demons that you're going to have to battle if you want to work out. A lot of people when they start their fitness journey think that all you need to do is work out and diet and then you're going to have a great body. And on a physiological level, that's true. But there are also mental barriers that you're going to have to battle. Not just with willpower, but you're going to have to battle all the other demons that come along the way. There's a lot of advice that says, in order to handle your depression or emotional turmoil, you're going to have to exercise. A lot of advice out there will tell you, in order to handle your depression or emotional distress, you're going to need to exercise. Exercise is great because it's correlated with an increase in happy hormones like serotonin and dopamine. But living a healthy lifestyle can backfire on you if you don't handle the emotional components. This doesn't apply to only people who are starting out on their physical fitness journey. It also applies to people who are physically fit. There are people who are in great shape, who turn to drugs and alcohol because they haven't handled their emotional turmoil. What that means is, even though the gym can help you with your emotions, it can't handle everything for you. And here are five emotional demons you're gonna have to handle if you wanna be physically fit. The first emotional demon you're gonna have to battle is self-esteem. When you start out on your physical fitness journey, your self-esteem may be low because of how you look and feel. You might not see early results and it might hurt your self-esteem. But if you continue, you will see results and it's gonna feel great. But what happens when you're already physically fit and you wanna achieve a higher level? There are actors with amazing on-screen bodies. Even they admit, like Zac Efron did, that you can't achieve that body and maintain it for a long time without drug intervention. There are people who want to attain that superhero body. What they don't realize is that you can't achieve it and maintain it for a long time. Even the bodybuilders can't achieve and maintain it for a long time without drug intervention. These people not only have dedicated the hard work, but they also have genetics that have helped them. And if genetics aren't in your cards, you shouldn't rely your self-esteem on it. The second emotional demon you're gonna have to battle when you're trying to get physically fit is tiredness. When we work out, we're gonna feel extremely tired if we're putting out our full effort. We're told that when we start our workout journey, if we work out, we're gonna feel energized. But they don't tell us is that if we force ourselves and push ourselves, we're gonna lose a lot of energy because it's only science that energy is expended. What happens is when we lose that energy in the gym, we don't have it for our other responsibilities outside of it. So if we don't have the energy to fulfill responsibilities outside the gym, we don't have time to take care of house chores, errands, family time that we need to do. But if we have to deal with those responsibilities, we're gonna have to overcome that mental demon of being tired. The third mental demon you're gonna have to battle in your physical fitness journey is being angry. Specifically, being hungry and angry. And there's a term for that called hangry. If you've ever struggled feeling hungry because you haven't eaten in a few hours, you understand how it feels to be hangry. You get so hungry that anything triggers your anger. Now, if you're dieting and reducing your calories, that hanger can build up over days. And anything anyone ever says or does can trigger you. Anybody who has to control their diet is going to feel hangry at some point. How do you handle that emotional demon? The fourth mental demon in your physical fitness journey you might have to handle is the loss of willpower. We as humans only have a finite amount of willpower during the day, and we burn through it progressively. If you burn through a lot of willpower early in your day, you're gonna have very little of it during the rest of the day to get through a workout. For me, I have a home gym down the garage, so the willpower barrier is much lower for me. You have to find ways to lower the amount of willpower you need to use during the day in order to save it for the important things. If you burn through a lot of your willpower in your workout, you might be tempted to fall back on your vices afterwards. I know I did it a lot when I started working out. I told myself that because I worked out, I deserved to have a big meal. And that big meal counteracted all the workout that I did and negated all the calories burnt. So in the end, I ended up gaining calories rather than losing them. And this was because a loss of willpower. The fifth mental demon you may have to battle in your physical fitness journey is dependence on the gym. After my breakups, I'd feel a lot of emotional pain. And what I did was I went to the gym 
to distract me from it. I would put myself through the physical torture so that I wouldn't have to feel the emotional pain. I would go to the gym two hours a day just so I could be distracted. What I didn't realize was that the other 22 hours of the day, I was still struggling with my emotional pain. I was relying on the gym as a distraction for my emotions. So how do you handle this? Well, there are three things you could do. The first thing you could do is get enough rest and nutrients. If we don't have enough rest, we're gonna feel cranky during the day and our willpower is gonna burn through very quickly because we're struggling to survive and stay awake. If we don't have enough nutrients, we don't have enough energy to get through the day. We're gonna get angry, we're gonna get tempted to eat other things. We're gonna burn through our calories really quickly. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna have support. If you tell your close family and friends that you're dieting and that you're gonna feel cranky sometimes, they're gonna be more open and understanding. They may even be more willing to help with the household chores because they realize this is important to you. And if you explain to them you wanna live a healthy lifestyle so you could live longer and be around for them, they're even gonna be more supportive. And if they're not supportive, they might not belong in your life at all. And the third thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have time outside the gym to handle your emotional problems. Your emotional turmoil can be destructive to your healthy life. You wanna make sure you handle those separately and set aside time for it. You can't rely on the gym to be a constant distraction. I've had clients come to me feeling angry and depressed and I have clients from around the world struggling with it. And they don't know what to do because they're working out, they're trying everything to feel better, but they haven't handled their emotional problems. So with the Emotional RX program, I'm able to help shortcut that anger relief and help them feel better instantly. They feel like they have a whole new life. Don't let your anger restrain your happiness. Don't let your anger control you. I'm looking for three clients who want to handle their anger immediately. In just one session, clients have seen results that have changed their life. If you want more information, check out down the link below. What do you guys think? How do you handle your emotional turmoil? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, guys, feel free, feel happy.